Hey Stuart, this video I'm going to walk you through the uh, process of embedding the uh, video to your sales page. Uh, this is uh, if you're going to be uploading the, assume that, I'm, that you're uploading the uh, video to your own web hosting account. So you're going to need a, an FTP software program like FileZilla. I'm not sure if you're familiar with FileZilla, but basically FTP is a program that allows you to upload files from your computer on up to your web server so it can be seen online. And so this is what I'm going to be doing here. I'm just going to show you. That's the first steps is to uh, get the uh, the video file onto your web hosting uh, directory. So I'm going to go ahead and drop it here. I created a directory to show you here as an example on my hosting uh, account. And so it's loading right here, as you can see. And depending on your internet connection, it might take a, a few minutes, as you can see. And um, I'm also going to go ahead and upload your sales page so I can show you how to uh, embed that video in once it's been uploaded. So that's also going to upload. So the sales page is already finished uploading and the video is just about done. And there we go. So that's uh, complete. And so now as you can see the directory is no longer empty. So here's a directory. I just created a folder called Stuart on my site at imnirvana.com forward slash Stuart. So I'll go ahead and refresh this. And now you're going to be able to have the URL to where the uh, where you can watch the video online. So let me click on that to show you. So there's your video. Just hit play. Hi, I'm Stuart Sample. It's Monday. So the video is uh, working. It's online. And so now this is the URL that you're going to need uh, to uh, for the code that you're going to embed into your uh, HTML code. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy that. And I sent you this uh, code so you can have it. And uh, you're going to copy and paste this or right onto the HTML of your, of your web page. I'm going to show that to you in a second. You need to make two changes here. And just make these two changes. Don't change anything else. Uh, where it says here uh, in the file name parameter here, as you can see, it says your file URL here. Just go ahead and take that out, leave the quotation marks as is, and then just go ahead and paste the URL of where you have your video. So it's going to be wherever you have, whatever your website.com, uh, whatever directory at, you know, file name.wmv is what it's going to look like, just like this. And so you're going to want to change that right here as well in the embedded screen value. So we're going to go ahead and take that out, leave the quotes, and paste that. And so this is the code. This is the code that you're going to paste onto your HTML so it can be visible on your web page. I'm going to show you how to do that uh, next. So I'm just going to do a control all and control copy to copy all of this code. And now I'm going to go ahead and uh, move on to my HTML editor. Okay, so now you have to load your sales page with your HTML editor. I'm not sure what you use for your, uh, HTML editor. I just use Composer. It's a simple HTML editor. It's a free one. And um, for my internet marketing purposes, it does everything I need to do since I'm not really a designer or a graphics type of guy. So I just use Composer. But whatever you want to use, whatever you, you use right now, you just need to make sure to be able to uh, that your editor allows you to edit the actual HTML code. So right here, I've loaded your page onto my onto Composer. Um, it's looking kind of weird because I don't have your image files or anything like that, but I'm still going to be able to show you how to do this. Okay, so I've loaded your sales page to my uh, HTML editor here to Composer. Uh, I click on the Source tab, and that's going to give you the HTML code. Now, what I like to do is I want to. I figure out where I'm going to put the video. So, for example, let's say I'm going to put it right here, uh, right after your from Stuart uh, Turnbull. Okay. So let's say I'm going to put it right here. So what I like to do, I I'll just mark it. I'll put like a whole bunch of X's or something, and that way I can just go to the source code and I can easily find it right away. So here we go. There's a whole bunch of X's here. So I know that's where I'm going to put the video. X marks the spot. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and take that out. And now I'm going to grab that code that I copied and I'm going to go ahead and paste it right here. Now I'm going to want to center it, so I'm going to open a, I'm going to put a center tag. And that's just very simple HTML code. And now I can go ahead and paste that code. 
and then I'm going to close the center tag and this is just to make sure that it's in the center and that's it now when you go over to the uh, the normal side you'll see something like this probably so this tells me that it's been you're not going to be able to see it here because it it's not uploaded yet but this just lets me know that it's uh, that the video object file is has been embedded so now all I need to do is just go ahead and upload this uh, sales page onto the web server the host your hosting account and it will be visible so I'm going to go ahead and do that next Okay, so using my FTP software again, I just uploaded the sales page uh, HTML file um, to the directory. And now I should be ready to rock and roll. Let's uh, head on over to the uh, website. So as you can see here, we're online at imrunner.com forward slash Stuart. And if we look at the page, the video should be on there. And there it is, as you can see. It's Monday at 9 a.m. and I'm at the beach. And so there it is. This is the uh, as basic as it gets of being able to uh, to copy and paste this on here onto your web page uh, so it can be visible. Uh, and then you can control some of the factors uh, right from the code so it doesn't play right away or continues to play. Uh, that's all you can easily customize that as well. So if you go to the code where it says here auto start, um, it'll say true. Uh, you can change that to false and it won't autoplay. The video won't autoplay when it first loads. Um, but if you want it to autoplay, just leave it as true. And uh, when people go to the uh, page, the video will uh, automatically uh, begin to play. Hi, I'm Stuart Campbell. 